Hey guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I am Joy, once again back with you, talking about fragrances. It's a very weird weather going on right now. Um, the transition from summer sort of rainy season towards the winter. Our winter starts somewhere like mid-November or early November rather. Like say, give or take 20 days from now, it will start cooling down, I believe, I hope. And uh, it's just raining for the last two days, so it's now about 3.45 a.m. Um, I'm going with this. Eager Blend from Davidoff. Uh, if you, I have reviewed this. I have done full review on this. If you want, you can check it out. And it's an excellent fragrance. This is my most favorite of the whole line. And I am pretty sure many people wouldn't agree. But it's just that good. It's so beautiful. It's so beautifully done. If you love the note of wood, but you want some more stuff going on with it, yeah, the dry down of this is absolute magic. All right. So Eager Blend by Davidoff. My scent of the night, early morning rather. So right now. I've been meaning to do this fragrance review for some time as you can see I'm wearing orange and I'm gonna be re revealing, not revealing, reviewing one orange fragrance and it's a very beautiful looking juice and bottle, it's a classic and uh, I've been saving this because I still don't think I understand the fragrance fully because maybe I'm from summer country but anyway I'll talk about it, what I got so far, I'll give you my honest opinion. This is Lagerfeld Classic, the beautiful orange juice, you see, orange. And then this bottle, uh, I'll tell you the story why I wanted this. But before I start, let me tell you one thing. Thanks, Jeremy, uh, for, thanks so much for that wonderful uh, comment. I just read it. I was out the whole day and then one of my friends told me that you mentioned me on Instagram. I don't use it. I'm very backdated, sort of like, I don't even know how to use Instagram. It's going to sound stupid, but yeah, getting old, you know. But thanks so much, bro, you know. I really always feel like I have to be loyal and I have to always be you know sometimes you need support that's why I, I just do it from my heart you know and I really believe you know you'll go much further maybe sometimes we'll be watching a movie starring Jeremy <laughs> thanks so much bro love you you are doing great and you are you're awesome you're always awesome all right so let's uh, look at the review today the review the, let me show you the packaging and I'll tell you the story how I got this what was the motivation this is the box. This comes in a very simplistic sort of box. Okay, it says Lagerfeld, Lagerfeld Classic, and I believe there's a smaller. Uh, this is 125 mil. There's also 75 mil, I guess, and there's also huge uh, four ounce or something like that. I'm not sure. And uh, it's a classic. The concentration is EDT. Nothing much at the side, at the back. You get, I think, where is this made? Um, I never checked. This is made in France. Okay, bottom batch code up top nothing logo so it's very sort of like a newspaper or something like a newsprint sort of a material but gives a very vintage look so this is one of the biggest fragrances and it's not new at all this is sort of like a vintage you can consider sort of powerhouse sort of a classic okay and the bottle is just amazing and something actually uh, happened to the bottle I'll tell you as you can see the top the, the plastic ring and everything it was so beautiful uh, it was actually broken it came broken I ordered through one of my brothers and it's not his fault definitely it's the shippers I think didn't pack it properly or something it just hit and then broke my beautiful ring I wanted to the best thing about this is just take it off and this is plastic the cap and it used to be back in the days I used to be metal so it used to be much more robust and heavy cap so now I take it off like that and then the atomizer this is not plastic okay and I kind of super glued it back kind of look nasty but at least it's there you know I love that and the juice color is just stunning it's just beautiful to look at you know when you look at this beautiful bottle you just know, you know it's a classic it says Lagerfeld, Lagerfeld classic EDT bottom stuff like that and I'll show you the distribution it's all right it's not huge but it does its purpose it's very beautiful very beautiful classy and uh, mature scent so the reason for me to get this is uh, um, I was watching this I always watch reviews all the time that's my favorite thing to do all day I watch so I was watching Chris from Scentland and he did a couple of reviews on this, okay? I think he did one on the vintage, one on the newer one, I'm not sure, but the one he's standing, I think one of the foreign countries, I forgot where it was, Austria or Germany, I don't know, I forgot the country. But it was like very cold, he's wearing his jacket and he's like standing in the middle of the road, he posted, put his camera in the middle of the road and he was talking uh, about this fragrance. He's just holding this, he's talking about this fragrance. And the thing that caught my eye was how artistically, in like artistic way, he described this fragrance it immediately got me I had I need this I searched for it like crazy all over Bangladesh couldn't find it finally my good brother Ifran Bhai 
he's a lawyer uh, if you don't know his page is called usb i recommend all the time his page you can buy from here 100 percent guaranteed good stuff all legit products and uh, he got this for me from uk so that one part the small accident that happened it's nothing to do with him but uh, i got the juice that's the more bottle could have broken when i got this uh, i was i was like waiting very eagerly because i heard a lot of good things about it you know the video tells I let me tell you what uh, some fragrantica comments that i'm very random today uh, one of the fragrantica comments uh, one lady says this is the fragrance i think i sniffed on my boyfriend 30 years ago and then today we are married but this is the still only fragrance that i can tolerate on him very nice comment another comment i think someone said this is like a how a man should smell like and this is strong he gave 10 in every category so let me tell you what i get i got this drying on the paper for some time and this end I'm wearing area blend, but this end I'm not wearing anything. So I'll show you the top note. Okay, just go one because this is very potent stuff. This fragrance, like let it settle down for a while. You can see the juice color is orange, so I suggest don't spray this on the white shirt. You're gonna have a regret. It's gonna leave a nice mark, little mark on the white shirt. So this fragrance, it's for uh, mature people. This is for winter time, and it has that feminine vibe to it. It has a very strong masculine vibe to it as well on the dry down and it's a very sort of like a back in the time you know there was a fragrance called i think roma i forgot the name there's a very beautiful old looking bottle it, they say this smells also like that i forgot the name i'll put down the name in the description box if i find it and i have a couple of other fragrances to show you just to give you idea this is a uh, lasting part on this is pretty impressive this one lasts a very long time but I found it it's not very wearable in the hot summer day it's like our country summers no so it's more became like a collector's item as you can see i did little bit uh e testing and then some of it i decanted but i just did enough to test it on my skin this stuff doesn't smell nice in the summer hot climate on the skin or the clothes it smells very heavy and choking the notes in this i get from it it's a uh, orange it's as you can see the juice color it's almost like orange juice it's like tropical orange juice it's very um literally to remind you of orange not earthy orange like terry hermes but very genuine candy like sweet very uh nice it reminds me right away of one of his very old fragrance of mine that i started my collection with in bangladesh yovan musk the original musk for men the juice color also very close so they have similar sort of opening and many people are already thinking if this stuff smells like this it's already a pass no you'll be wrong both of them are fantastic i talked about this many times this is for the price it's so cheap it smells darn good it smells like poor man's dear Roman intense for the weekend okay check this out if you haven't you have one must for men so they have this also some orange feel to it but it's very simple scent but very strong long lasting this one lasts all day this one has notes like um that orange that it opens with then it goes to cedar wood i believe and some patchouli in it which i didn't get they said tobacco note i'm still searching for it many people i think pep got the pep uh, he reviewed it he talked about the tobacco i'll talk about it but so far i think uh, the orange the cedar uh, the vanilla and maybe the sandalwood these are the four notes that prominent to my nose and up top for the first one hour you get that orange it's like orange county all the time it's like this prisoners wearing, wearing the orange dress uh, male or female and it almost smells like very unisex i think the ladies who would like strong but back in the day classy scent i think i don't know how old is this 70s 80s i, have, I didn't check present data so uh, it will remind you to bring you back your father's time your grandfather's time they wore it and it smells like little dated i will not lie it smells little dated it doesn't smell like one of your latest absolute latest like which one is the absolute latest? It doesn't smell anything like Blood de Chanel or Chanel Elirum Sport or Extreme or Versace Dylan Blue. No. This is completely different. I agree with Chris. This is not like your Crowd Pleaser or Salvatore Ferragamo, Umo. <laughs> he, he made the comparison. I was like, why? Umo is nice fragrance, but I can see what he meant. This is not an obvious fragrance. It's very simple, but yet very uh, complex fragrance. It will take you time to understand you to get more than just orange from it i used to just get orange orange but now yeah i do get when it dries down it becomes a little bit more potent a little bit woody a little bit more uh vanilla -y, okay it gets a little bit powdery to my nose it's not really 
uh, very citrusy or transparent. So definitely gives out that uh, mature vibe. I think people who like to wear a little bit masculine potent scent from back in the days also, if you liked obsession for men, this kind of style of fragrances, okay? So I'm not saying obsession and this is same smelling because obsession got notes of tobacco, leather and a lot of the other things. This one, I wish there was a leather note in it. If there was leather to it, it would be super potent and it would be like such a nice twist. But then thinking how the thought of orange and tobacco together, put together and make a scent, it's already stunning to me. So Karl Lagerfeld, the newer releases, I've seen a lot of his newer uh, fragrances, none of them I like. I'm sorry to say, they seem very generic, uh, synthetic and very obvious. Crowd pleasers, huh, sweet, you know, safe, safe. This stuff is a classic. If you're a collector, if you're looking for something, a fragrance that you like, you are a little bit mature gentleman, but you're young. If you know what I mean, like you like your daddy's uh, colognes, you, you like his strong fragrances that he used to use, denim, aftershave, brute, some manly stuff. You may be interested. I think Ruman Bhai in our community, this one brother, he likes all this vintage stuff, old day stuff, powerhouse stuff. This is not quite a powerhouse. It's not even a barber shop. It's something, I cannot describe it quite well. It's like a classic fragrance, okay? It's a Lagerfeld classic, you know, the name justifies it sort of. H for it again, let me put it as a summary. Uh, I would say this is uh, maybe my dad or Jeremy's dad or any of these our guys. We still are young, I guess. But for me, I, would, I can wear this, no problem. If you have a little bit beard and that, that whole thing that Chris, if you see his video, he sprayed it on his gloves leather gloves and he sniffed it I'm like I never seen quite someone testing a fragrance on the leather gloves or something I was like I was like wow okay trust me this is this fragrance really is interesting it's kind of like very obvious it's it's dated but it has the some something about it it's just those good times when you used to watch movies in the weekends you didn't have mobile phones this smells like that era big ass cars you know big engines big you know, like big boots, big seats, you know, hanging, like, you know, lay back, you know, maybe like LA Confidential, if you know that movie, I don't know why I thought of that movie, like those big ass shotguns and stuff, hats, gentleman hats, the movies like uh, Untouchables, it reminds me of that era. It doesn't remind me of anything modern, but it's such a classy scent. I'll tell you that it has that simplicity, but it has that uh, class about it. There's a certain class, real confident men, if they wear it, it's not gonna smell tutti frutti. It's gonna smell very sophisticated and serious, very classy. Even if you can definitely cold weather office scent, I think this one will definitely get you noticed and definitely will get you a lot of compliments. Smells like Christmas in a bottle, okay? But not doesn't have the spices. The tobacco note. Where is that tobacco? Seriously, <laughs> maybe I'm just like still a baby. You know, I don't get tobacco that much. But I love this scent a lot. I just I'm waiting for the 20 days to pass, that heat and rain all go away and that cold weather starts hitting us. That's when I'm going to rock this. That's the ideal weather. Longevity projection, both 10 out of 10. Very good. Very, very strong. Even after reformulation, it's pretty important stuff. Is it a must buy? Definitely not. It's a love it or hate it. Very simple. Very simple as that. Better buy Yovan Musk if you really think this is. This is price-wise not that pricey, but it's not that cheap. I think you have to pay around, what, 25 pounds to get this bottle plus the shipping. You can get a better cheap deal, get it. But definitely try it. Uh, this will also work, let's say you're trying to give a gift to your dad or your uncle or grandfather, pick this up, give it to them. They will really, really appreciate this. Don't give them um, what, what not to give them. Don't give them some of your favorite fragrances like, um, I don't know, some CK Tutti Frutti, CK One Summer, I don't know, they will appreciate this. They will definitely appreciate this when they go to work, they'll smell like this all day. And they'll be like, it will go with their age. So it's definitely mature fragrance. Um, versatility wise, a little bit poor, but overall remark for this is just a classy scent, you know. It doesn't smell that modern anymore, but it will never get like, for mature noses, this is going to be one of those fragrances they'll be eager to collect, keep it in the collection and sniff it maybe once a week or once a month and the weekends and it'll feel great. Okay, so it's one of my favorite weekend scents. I think it will do great in the winter time. So Lagerfeld Classic for me, 
this is a very nice scent i'm not gonna give this any remark or anything but performance wise very good smell wise i'll give this like nine out of ten that nice but it's just for my nose you can try it and i would say most of the people who watch the age group sort of like a younger crowd it should be a pass for you okay but yes match your people a little bit 25 and up you can definitely try this juice it's a very nice uh classy ever classic fragrance okay so take care guys i'll talk to you soon have a very nice day bye bye